and you can I, tell me what this is. I, so it say that the Lord of Twilight, uh, Moto E. So give guide. Guide. So the part I don't understand is this Tomo. I mean, the Moto E. Uh, where are we? Right after the. um. Oh, Hikure Moto E? No you forgot Kimi what that no. meant? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, good. Then I'm going to go backwards then. I skipped this sentence. So read this for me. Hi. Right. So moto is used a lot like this word tokoro. So you, this is the sentence could be um yojinbo majushi no deshi no deshi no tokoro ni ita, which would mean that um the sorry it's not it's supposed to be wa here. <laughs> So this would be um the minion goes to where the apprentice of the magician is. Tokoro. Tokoro is what you would normally use. That is the default um option when you want to talk about somebody's location, where somebody exists. Moto is used to sound more dramatic or more poetic. So if you listen to a song, you're never really going to say like kimi no tokoro e. You're going to say you're going to hear kimi no moto e is what you're going to hear because it just sounds more dramatic to be i will go to where you are where you remain it just it feels like your origin feels a lot more dramatic so right here in this um area they're using moto to kind of be like dramatic because he's talking about the the lord of twilight so that, that that's why he's doing that and i went over to grab the english translation of the book and um opened my eyes I was like oh okay um so these two sandings these two sandings are apparently talking about Nevery, Bennett and Khan so in other words uh, this is us three gather and go through the gate these two gate guards are still at the gate they say oh you want to come in okay and the three of us gather and go through the gate and this one right here is that the three of us continue to go through the entrance guards. Um, I feel like this was a very confusing so this... way to express that, but that, that's the signing is referring to our party. The signing is specific to those three. Yeah. So in this case, if we were translated, we'd say us three, perhaps. Like, so us three as well went off into the um, state grounds. But yeah, that... I... I would never have guessed that. I mean, it makes it, I could see grammatically how it works. I feel like either could be insinuated, but it's definitely um, very much context-based. Anyway, so okay. now tell me what this says. Okay, so speaking from the first person, I am going to guide, I'm going to guide you to the place of the twilight king lord. or lord yes um to and then afterward the minions hitori hitori ga so this right here things have been moved around just so you know so tekka no hitori ga itta there would be a there would be a minion there Yes, there was one minion who did what? There was one minion who, yeah, who speak. Yep. Ita. Yeah, so this is just who saying, speak. so this to right here is quotation to. So this to is connected to this ita at the end of the sentence. To. Hi. But we're just being very, we just kind of moved stuff around here. So um, I'll guide you to where the Lord of Twilight resides. And he says that to Nebedi. And continuing that, Hi. he asked the that same person is continuing the talk over here. What does this minion say? Hi. And it say Daga. However, Yojinbo wa koko ni nokoshite moraitai. I would like for your bodyguard to remain here. Yep. 
And you see how they're using Morao here because he's making nobody do it. He's not actually asking, you know, he's saying, I would like to receive. I'd like you to do this. Basically. Right. But he's he's meaning he, to he, do this. <laughs> he's, he's not he, actually he, asking. He, <laughs> he, it's like a samurai speaking in polite language, but he actually say, uh, I would request that you leave your sword here before entering yep. the compound. Something like that. Meeting, leave it now. <laughs> uh, next is the word kitsui, which, do you know what kitsui means? Kitsui. It's an adjective. It has the key in front, so to cut or to do something quickly or to finish it off. It can mean tough. Um, in the context, though, it kind of means um, kind of like to squeeze something. So it's going to be kitsui. Uh, kitsui. Um, but to is tough, but tough. And it kind of means like the toughly do something. Um, can you read this part for me? I'm just checking if you knew what the eba is. Ma, sore dake. Abe. Abe, taeba. Ah, that's kue. Kueba. 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 So. This was when this was when never say, well, if you're gonna eat that much, yep. uh then it's sh it should be that way. Exactly. Yep. So Eva is basically if or when. So if you do the verb, that's what happens. Um can you read the sentence for me? Hi. And we say that nigiri was to like <laughs> the food, the thing that you hold. Uh, nigiri is to hold, shime uh, is to squeeze. Yep, so it's describing, he's doing like a tough squeezing of something. The like tough very, squeeze oh, dog. No. Of, of the sue. So the apprentice squeeze, grab squeeze tightly the cane. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Sorry, my dog's in my room right now because it's windy. Um, Can you read this? Time to come and join our reading. Ochiru. Um, <laughs> Get him to learn Japanese. Ochiru. Um, this to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's like climbing on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ochiru. I know, Don't right? It's like, that. ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yep, ochiru to fall. Yep. <laughs> and it Hi. shows up in this word right here, which is ochi tsuki harao. Um, this basically means to stay calm. Ochi tsuku is like to calm down, but this means you're staying calm. Oh, okay. To fall and arrive and yes. then grab? Yeah. Um, harao right here is not nigiru. Harao is to wipe away. We saw uh, harao to... earlier, um, way earlier, to, to refer pay. to paying something. Yes. Um, so ochi tsuku hey. kind of makes sense in a metaphorical kind of way, being that your emotions have settled, right? They've fallen and settled. So no longer you high strung, you've fallen and settled. You calm down. The harao uh -huh. for sweeping away is a little bit odd. I guess like somehow it just means to stay calm rather than being like I sweep away my calmness. Uh, I don't know, but that. So all of this together is ochitsuki harao. Right. That is to stay calm. To, to stay be. calm. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this one because that was in the wrong place. Do you know what shouji means? Shouji suru. It's the uh, kegel of shiru. Hi, to hi. Know. Yep. So in this case, it kind of means understood. Shouji suru. Kind of like ryokai. Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go read this line from the book. Shouji sta. Nebri wa ochi tsuki wa ochi tsuki haratte itta kere do mireba 
杖をきつくに切りしめていた。So, Nebri said, I understand. おちつきはらっていた。I am calm, however. けれど、however. So, this right here, just let you know he's not saying that. So, nobody is calm, is staying calm. However, if you look at him, what does Khan notice? Ah, mieba. Um, tsue o kitsuku nikiri shimete ta. He was tightly clutching his cane. Perfect. Perfect. Or toughly, like、uh, tightly is correct in this kind. Kitui means tough, but in this case, it's like tight, very restrictive、um, for, as an adverb, basically.、Um, so let's go read this line then. Hi. Ne,、uh, Bennett. Hi. Nice. Good job、Bennett. catching that. Hi. Koto, koko de... Oh, Bennett is his bodyguard. そうそう。I see. You probably heard me randomly say it sometimes. <laughs> I don't even remember when he hires her, to be honest.、Um, ここで待って、俺。Perfect. Do you remember what 俺 tells、ね、us? It has to do with never to be an old man. 俺 is ある。はい、ある it just means、uh, to be. More like いる、to be, yes. An ある、but. In this case, Idu. So that's the same as Mate Ore, same as Mat、uh, Iro. Mate Iro. Mate Iro.、Oh, Mate Nasai. Hi. And Nebri ga、uh, Teka to Isho ni Aru ki dasu. Hi. Okay. So, um, Bennett. Remains here a- as a command. He s a y b e n b e n e t you stay here.、Um, and then Neburi and together and the、um, minions together they walk out. Good guess. So in this case, it is the normal meaning of Dasu, which is to begin. Aruki Dasu. So the Dasu for Nukeru is like very rare. Normally, it, it means to begin. I knew it. They dropped the kanji and used the kana for a reason. So, so. <laughs> okay, now we're doing so. I think they'll put a kanji. I think they'll put a kanji when they want to emphasize to mean to leave. Sometimes. And they, right? And they just use the, kan, the regular kana when they actually mean, oh, this is a post fix. I'd have to, to double check because sometimes it might just be like I wrote it with the kanji versus I didn't. So if it was in this section with the kanji, then yes, your hypothesis is probably correct.、Uh, in general,、Hi. that's true. So, like, for example, iku rather than iku with the kanji and kudu and stuff, definitely that is a rule where when it's being grammar, you don't use the kanji. And if it's not being grammar, so a lot of times if you see iru, for example, This has kanji if it's being normal, but if you're using it as a grammar, it's not going to have the kanji there. So to exist, you'll use the kanji versus not for ing. So that's that definitely is something that occurs, but I'm not sure if that would occur here simply because of this is a compound verb rather than actually being grammar.、Uh, Hi. Anyway,、uh, I don't actually think you need to check any kanji. You do so pretty well. <laughs> um, do you know what this grammar right here is? Suwaro tosta. Suwaro tosta. Suwaro. Even I was, um, I attempted to sit down. Perfect. It is to attempt something. O t o s t Nice. Um, how do you read this word? No kohuru. No kohuru. Hi. No kohuru. So earlier we saw no kosu, which is to leave something behind. No kohuru is to be left behind. So I, no, I am no kohuru, basically. Hi. 
Um, I got left behind. Yeah, kind of. Yes, the, the subject gets left behind. Okay, so let's go read this sentence. Ore mo suite iko to shita ga neburi tachido matte ore o mi o mi oroshita kozo omae mo no re no kore Okay. So it's say ore mo suite iko iko. That's from iku to go. Hai. Toshita ga. I oh I even I attempted to follow. However, neburi tachi do mata. Meaning, um, he stand and stop. Yep. Ore o mi o roshita. He looked down at me and he say, Kozo, omae mo, you as well, no kore, remains here. Yes, or exactly. Remain. Stay here. So literally saying, you boy will remain here as well. Right. Perfect. Man, how do you know that Oroshi was was the kanji to look down? I look at that thing, I was starting with some kind of some kind of word. We we've actually have seen Miyodosu. Nobody looks down at Khan a lot. Because <laughs> he's saying. taller than him. And the so, domate was the stop. The stop. Stand and stop. Um, do you know what the passive form of EU is? EU passive. So it was taken U verb. Passive is A, but it's WA. Iwareru. 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 To be told. Perfect. Do you know what Tamaru means? Tamaru? Black. Dog. Something black. This is dog, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a dog. Yeah, that's a... Black dog. That's Inu. Black um, dog shut up! Flame on the bottom. Is what you say to your black dog when it's barking at the moon. Oh my goodness. Damaru. Okay, tama damaru. Damaru. Quiet. Shut it! <laughs> uh, it, it, it means to be quiet. Like, it's like, it's like Shizuka. Uh, si Shizuka is Hi. actually quiet. Damaru is like uh to to be to close your mouth close it you, you already in in the act of speaking so now stop it stop speaking <laughs> um do you happen to recognize this kanji um, this is okuru. This kanji. this means okuru. to send okuru. to send hi so this is used like if you're sending a package in the mail of somebody okuru. hi um, what's the te form of damaru? Damaru. Damaru. Aru. I'm guessing it's a root verb. So it's damate. No, it's at least damate. It's an damate. u verb. Damate. Damate. Nice. Good guess, though. This one here is also going to be an u verb. How do you read this word? Me. And we say to send was ok oku. Yep. Okuru. Yep. Mi okuru. 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 Um, so mi yeah. okuru basically means to send somebody off. It means you watching somebody as they leave. Mi okuru. Watching somebody as they leave. Mi okuru. Hi. Mi okuru. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Dorobo wa majutsu shi o mi okota. Hi. Um, so it's say that the magician, oh no, the thief, watches the magician leaves. Yes. Yep. 
And in English, sometimes we'll use the word to send off to have this meaning. Sends off the magician. Though here it's really ah, not really sending off, but that that's the kind of like the the feeling behind Nyokoru to watch someone leave. Uh has a little bit of like Hi, the, that's, it's like you um... send off your kid to the playground. You're like, goodbye. You just kind of stand and you watch as they go off somewhere. Nyokoru. What's this word when you go to the air when you go to the yeah. airport and your family members is like, leaving the airport and you Yeah. <laughs> that's a Nyokoru. You, um, God, there's a word for it. There's an English word for it. I don't know. I think that's... I first heard it's to send off. To send like, off? I, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're like, bye-bye. Uh, literally, though, it is to watch somebody leave. And it is being used for that in that context. But to send off is the closest, um, I feel like, word to English. It's a little dramatic in this case. But yeah, let's let's go read it. Hi. Uh, soy... 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 So iwaretara damate mi okuru shikanai. So okay, he say I was told that, or thing is not that. It's like in that way I was told. Being told that, and then so iwareta. Being iwaretara. And this tara is while. While I was told that's that. That's nagara. Um, Na nagara would be while. Um, when tara is, that. yes. When or if. In this case, when. So when I was told that, what happened? Damate mi okuru shikanai. Shikanai is um, shiku. Oh, In no. Negative. It's not. Uh, this is shika plus nai from like aru, maybe? Shika nai. Existing does not of shika. Um, you see shika nai with a verb over here, like shika deki nai or something like that. I, I don't know what the word was, the sentence. Um, so shika is except for. So there's Chika, nothing to do for. except for damate miokuru. There's nothing to do except to to stay shut and watch him go. Yep, the shut up and watch him go. So being told that there's nothing I could do except to watch him go and shut my mouth. Damate. Perfect. And this mm -hmm. is where we'll be dropping off for the day.